are so fortunate to be following in the footsteps of some incomparable legacy and spreading love and music. And it's easy to understand why. So here's the deal. Their grandfather is the man they call the pioneer of soul, the great Sam Cook. Of course, we know change is going to come among many other hits. Their parents are renowned songwriters and producers, Cecil and Linda Womack, celebrated for composing the Teddy Pendergrass Love TKO, one of the greatest songs ever, and for writing hits for Eric Clapton, Culture Club, and Miss Patti LaBelle. So you think, okay, that's their legacy, but I got one more for you. Their roll uncle roll. is Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee Bobby Womack. But that is not his picture. Now, they are out with their own music, making their own mark. The Womack sisters are releasing their debut album, and of course it's called Legacy. Please help me welcome for the first time, Daniel, Zaylani, and Kusha, the Womack sisters. Come on now, ladies. Look at you, oh fam. BG, the third sister, unfortunately, wasn't oh, feeling well. Yeah, she had to hit the food trucks last night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it, this show is about family and others back. You are a group, and now you're still holding it down. So yeah. Do you plan for these kinds of things, Kucha? We try to, yeah, we, we, it's crazy. It's like you can't really plan for it, but we kind of always, like, took, like, a little in honor to each other. They're like, okay, no matter what happens, we're going to just keep... The show going to go on. Yeah, right? That show's got to represent. Well, that's what show business is in your blood. You know how to keep the show going. Do people come up to you and start to look to see which relative... I swear, I'm like, who looks like Samantha? <laughs> yeah, all the time. Them? I mean, all the, all the time do people try yeah. to survey the land. Yeah, they say she looks like our mother the most. So. You look like your mom the most. Yeah, I get that a lot. Well, you know, when you're around... First of all, your parents work, what as I said, Culture Club, Eric Clapton, Patti LaBelle. Oh, yeah. so that's who they work with. But then your bloodline, forget who they know, their bloodline, the greatest songwriters, Thank the you. greatest performers, all part of your family. What was like the holidays? I mean, we're around the holiday season. What is holiday like? Oh, oh my goodness. God. You know, our parents were travelers. They were travelers. They really enjoyed like seeing new country. Constantly. They had us basically in a new new city, new country, like every six Were y'all singing on the road all the time? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, were, we were their our, roadies. Then we became their background singers. Yeah. Harmonies to yeah. go over while we're cooking. Um, that's really what the consistency of it was. And yeah. in the studio, he would ask us what we think about certain lyrics, and we would interject. And that's really how we started to form our love for it and get involved. And I know your father passed away. Yeah. And followed by the Uncle Bobby Womack. Oh, yeah. And so you, you have their their heart still though with you, mm -hmm. their imprint on yes. this album. So when you come out with Legacy, part of your legacy is not here in this form, but they're around you. What was Ooh, that? Look like at my dresser. Don't judge me. Have them watching. Okay. I think for lay our, side. Our, our spirituality is really strong. That's one thing our parents always made sure that we were aware that the spirit never dies. Yeah. It oh. just it lives on and it yeah. travels through time. Yeah. And that's why we don't feel that they're far from us, that yeah. they're with us always. And that is what gives us strength. And it gives us a lot of, um, it also helps our our creative because the way our father would form songs is pretty much how we form songs. It's based off of life experiences, right. really. Because I'm sitting here thinking of like Love TKO. Yeah. Which they wrote. Yeah. That was a I life mean, experience. I got goosebumps. When you're like a little kid walking around and you are hearing these songs, yeah. you're like, yeah. Are you yeah. like five years old doing we that? Was normal. <laughs> we were like, everybody is yeah. saying, right? Everybody has a Love TKO. Yeah. I'm five years old and I'm singing it. Yeah. You just thought everyone's song. family yeah. made music like this. Because literally they like brought us up. We were like, like our, our mother was was pregnant on a lot of the album covers. So she had us and then topped on a plane to go to a show. So we were like, okay, this is just how this goes. Right. Until we got older, we realized, like, this is pretty different. This is different, yeah. yeah. What, did your, what did your parents tell you about Sam? I mean, obviously, that being your grandfather, that, that legacy is, I mean, it, it's crazy. We were so great. Yeah. You know, that's one thing that my mother, our mother always said is his that civil rights legacy, not just yeah, the music. He was really oh, brave. Yeah. He, he wasn't afraid to put himself yeah. in harm's way to to 
provoke change and to see a better world for all of us. And that is something that he made sure his music represented that, that yeah. we have to make this world better and then we can't do, we can't do what's going down. Yeah. And he was extremely smart. He loved books. Like, yeah. he was fascinated with books. Our mother used to tell us about this library this bookstore, at least, like, the bookshelf that he had. It went all the way to, like, the ceiling. Yeah. He just was fascinated with books. Do you get goosebumps as well? I mean, when I hear a change going to come, I mean, it's just... Oh, my God. How does that feel? That how much um, we've been through as people. How things have changed, but they're the same. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the we part have, that have so much more change to do. We, yeah. we have more to do, and so it can be a little saddening. Do you, you know? feel that that's also part of your responsibility? Yeah. Part of the legacy of the music with the new album called Legacy, a part of the legacy is saying, we are voices, but our voices are important and they matter. Yes, we would love to be there for the generations. Oh, wow. That's why we wanted to put I it love that. in our own legacy. It's important for the music to speak on the times and to encourage yeah. in your life and everything that's going on. And so we want to make music that encourages you and talks about love because love is something that it makes life worth living. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and yeah. it can really, it can mess with you too. So we want to make sure that we cover all of all the bases. <laughs> we cover all the bases. I love it. Yeah, because love can well, break you. It can make you too. You know, we know the legacy that you're tied to, and it's an important part of music history, but you're finding your own voice, and you found your own voice, hence the reason you went viral as soon as people started to listen to the music. So congratulations. I'm so happy. Our guest is Gigi. But guess what? Coming up, Benani and Kucha make their national debut right here on Dan Hawker. Before we want to go, we're going to take a break.